Despite the ups and downs and constant dark nights, the Western Cape was pretty lit this festive season. The province broke numerous tourism records over December. Western Cape Finance and Economic Opportunities MEC, uh, Murray Wagner, joins us now to uh, speak about this and the province's achievements. Thank you so much for your time. We really do appreciate it. Um, many would say that uh, evening, the, Western Cape, the Western Cape was lit this past festive season. Maybe just give us uh, those numbers and what it looked like. Absolutely. Uh, we're absolutely delighted that uh, our summer season is turning out to be a record-breaking summer season for the Western Cape. Cape Town International Airport smashed all previous records with 317,000 two-way passengers passing through it in December, which is the highest in history, uh, smashing the previous record in January 2020 in which 290,000 passengers passed through. We're also delighted to report that uh, our tracking of Western Cape attractions showed that 400,000 people visited uh, uh, these attractions in the province. Um, and these are things from um, Boulders Beach, the, the um, cable car, as well as uh, places um, such as Kwatu on the west coast or the Harold Porter Botanical Gardens, the Cape Agulhas Lighthouse. So we really do have a lot on offer and it seems that not only locals but the world is uh, coming to the Western Cape and the Western Cape seems to be a destination in demand. Absolutely, and I think the weather was rather pleasant this past festive season, despite the fact that uh, there's always a saying, there's like five seasons in one day, in, especially in Cape Town. Um, but this is obviously also a huge boost uh, to the Western Cape economy, given the fact that so many people traveled. I'm sure those numbers are also going to look 